Rachel? Yes. On me, honey. On you. Where are you? I'm right here. You done on your phone? Ordering your dinner? You're sure. such a millennial phone user. They won't let you order it over the phone. You called them last time, remember? And they wouldn't let you order it. You have you to do it? it through DoorDash. Yeah. It's got to be Are we looking at it? Just do not step on the indicator I, I, light right there. I did almost step on that. Okay. I'll admit that there was a... I am just cleaning out the threads for my fuel filter brackets, which this is per GA Architect on I Hate Mud. Uh, stands for Georgia. These are conduit brackets. This is a number five, $2.29. And then I glued some rubber to it. These are gonna be my fuel filter brackets. Why so do this, you need rubber on there? For why didn't they just protection, sell it? Why didn't they just sell it with it's rubber? for protection. Yeah, but why didn't they just sell it with rubber if it was necessary? You get it dug for protection. Yeah. <laughs> Isolating properties, like what condoms do. Oh, no, it just holds the fuel filters okay. more snug. Okay. And I feel better about it. Just sometimes you do stuff. And it's... I gave it my own little twist. That's what I... So I'm gonna bolt these up, and then we're gonna do the other fuel filter on the bottom. So that's the fuel filter bracket for the, to the engine line. Um, this arrow indicates the flow. Doug told me that. <laughs> if you don't have your factory fuel filter brackets, you can just use these conduit ones and they work really well, apparently. I don't know how they work well. Oil pressure, sender, mine's too short, but Vintage Tech Parts, Toyota Matt sent me a lengthened piece. He also sent me the rubber boot to protect the oil sender itself. So what we've done is spliced it into the old line, to the old oil sender connector line. And we're gonna connect it temporarily. And then when I do the final touches of the engine, we'll put the rubber boot on. But for now, we're just gonna connect it for running purposes. That little guy, and boom, it's connected. We have the fuel filter in place, which is the Pick up. This is this is return. This one's the pick up. Okay, so let's do. Let's start with the one that's right there. I guess. So this one we're gonna run right over the top of the valve cover. So, in my typical eyeballing fashion. Oops. So we got that guy. Safety third. Yeah. I've measured once. You buy extra hose We're just going case. to the doctor today, buddy. Right, yeah, and I'm going to square off. That's not square off. Okay, that was something. So what do you think, about that much just to protect it? Just to get over the top. Okay. You got more of that for the, for the, this is, this is your return line here. Yeah. And you're going over to your fuel filter. Right. I'm just going to do across the top. You, okay. Your uh, your fuel filter is going to go to your feed line. I understand what you... No. I'm going to make it. So this, is, this, this goes to your fuel filter. That one's going to my fuel filter. So that's too well, short. I cut this one. I cut it to this one. But it should have been to that one. Okay, so this one's too short. So what you can, we may use that one. Yeah, I'm not going to throw it away. Good catch, though. Pre-filter. Before you cut the sleevey thing. Gonna remeasure. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. All right, around. And this one's going to the filter by the battery, right? Correct. Push harder. Get this struggle, honey. You see that? <laughs> Even the really good mechanics. It's real. Make elephant, elephant noises. <laughs> He didn't make anywhere near as many noises as he would have. Really, because he works in a shop with other people, so he's got to learn to keep those things to himself. <laughs> just keep it down, bury it like, down deep. Not inside. like you out here just oh. dying. For protection purposes, what do you think? Like that length? Um, yeah. So it won't chafe on any of the harder parts. We'll do to that. And that is kind of hot in that area. Yep. Put the protection on. Put the heat Before I cut this guy off? Yeah, slide it over that sucker. Because it'll start fraying like that and you'll never get that heat shrink over. 
Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to put two heat shrinks on them, one for each side. Oh, yeah. Kind of that full of thought. Genius. You guys hear that? That's why you're here, Doug. <laughs> if, oh, my dumb brain. A phrase like that, you can never get it back. You just got to cut more off. <laughs> this is, this is going to be. <laughs> Do you need extra, yeah. extra hands? You see how you wouldn't get that over that. Oh my gosh, what a huge pain in the ass this is. I'm doing it though, because it looks cool. If I go over those, those, <laughs> those fibers right there, that's the end of the game, buddy. We're done. That's worse than that stupid thing stripping out. Okay, let me come up there, buddy. We're gonna film this first one, the second one, where we do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna do it. Not going to probably have to document every little tip. Right about there it looks good, huh? Yeah. Then we'll heat it. Okay. We're running a protective sleeve over the fuel line that's closest to the engine parts. You remember the bung thing we did earlier? How could I forget? Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, we're gonna run it into this previous vent hole right here. So I'm gonna drill it out a little bit to accept a bigger, a bigger thing. I have a like, countersink. No, like a weird tendency to, I have to touch after <laughs> welding or oh. drilling. Like I just have to like, feel that it's hot. I just need to know. Now I'm going to do everything I just did on the bottom. What do you mean on the bottom? There's another... Another hole? I need to do that on the other side. Do I need to get under and film no. you, or are you just going to do it? I'm just going to hear a lot of crying. Should I have Rachel run and get another one of those grommets right now? Uh, it, it's for... I should have her get, like, a bunch of them, because I don't have... I don't have that grommet anymore. Well, that would have been the same size as that one. Well, I have... Uh, well... Okay. But the fuel line was... Yeah. Tiny. Yeah. So, honey, we got the lines and the protective covers for across the engine bay on. These are just spark plug DEI. I mean, I'll show a picture of the packaging if you want, but I got these at O'Reilly's for 20 something bucks. But it just protects these parts of the fuel line from heat and friction damage. And we ran them down to the other side. The lines come down. This is, so this is the line to the sniper that's running through the filter mounted on the battery tray. And that goes down through the frame we ran it to the pump. Here's the line that runs to the fuel pump itself. This is gonna be the return line. It's gonna run over on top of the frame. So again, there's the line to the fuel pump. Here's the line on top of the frame. It goes up to where the old, old vent was. There's a creaky little creeper. And then I'll show you where it comes out. So we drilled that out a little bit bigger, ran a grommet through it. And that goes into this janky ass thing that I messed up by buying the wrong bolt. That's that side of the fuel tank. There's that adapter bolt that we used to fit into the fuel line. And then here's the connection for that. I reamed this out a little bit wider to fit this larger size. What have I done today? Rachel's ran to Hardware stores and parts stores. She's so nice. That's the fuel lines. You've seen them. The last thing we got to do is mount the last filter, which I'm going to rivet nut into the frame. And since it's one hole, no measurements. And it's a good reminder if you're not part of the Toyota Land Cruiser Association, go to www.tlca.org, become a member, sign up. People will come to your house and help you. Professionals. <laughs> <laughs> Tools. Me, I might help. Anyway, it's a good community, you guys. So just remember that as we're following along here. Get get part of that association, right? Oh, 
almost. Okay, here we go. Yes, elephant. <laughs> There it is. Okay. This is another conduit piece. This is a number four. So I used a number four and a number five. That's from the tank, and you want it pointing that way. The arrow's, the arrow's going this way. So, oh yeah, it's from the tank. Yep. Okay. Once we do this last piece, what? Once we finish this piece, it'll be, uh... It'll Put, be putting liquids in? Check everything, and then, yeah. Is this the right length for... Yeah. That's pretty good. I like that. Everything's tightened up under here. The fuel line, right? Go. The fuel lines are done. Routed. Uh, we've tightened up coolant lines, tightened up gas lines. We're doing the last check about vacuum for the distributor to the uh, 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 to the thing, <laughs> sniper. And then we're gonna put oil and coolant and uh, cranker. So we're really close now, right? Doug, are we close? Yeah, I've got to put oil on it. All right, he's close. Ah. He said we're close.